Okay class, today we'll use essence to work on fluid flow problem. And the problem we deal with is a pipe flow. We have inlet, outlet, inlet have five millimeter per second water going to the pipe and come out through uh, through an elbow pipe and come out from the other end. Okay, the geometry has also is also given. So it's a four and four point two centimeter for the pipe, the inner and the outer. We have uh, elbow with radius is uh, five centimeter and with all this information we'll go into workbench here we'll use create a project is a fluid flow so the fluid flow is we can use fluent or cfx so today we'll use cfx to generate a flow work on this project so geometry double click and where we'll use space claim to create the geometry Right, the first step in space claim is always check the unit, make sure that is consistent with the geometry we want to calculate. So we'll use centimeter, and we'll use one centimeter for minor grid spacing. Click OK. Right click on select. Uh, right click and select new sketch plane, XY plane. Click and then go to plane view where we'll draw the center line with a pipe and after that we'll sketch the cross section area so to do that we'll click on line start from origin go all the way to 10 centimeter I will zoom in a little bit and then I will use control uh, middle roller to move it around and then now Notice that we still on enter the line sketching mode and then we will click cartesian dimension to help us create locate the other pipeline. Start from this end, we'll go up to 10 meter. Okay, here's the place where we start the other pipeline. Click on it and go to the right 10 centimeter. Okay, now we have two pipelines. Between them is an elbow, it's a half circle. So to draw that part, we will use three point arc. Start from one end and the other end, and we'll use five centimeter or 180 degree. Okay, that's what we want. Escape. Now we have this. We have the center of the pipe, and then we will create a cross area. Click on mode and to row roll over and then where we'll draw the cross section on yz plane so here we'll draw the cross section sketch mode again and then see you more around you will see that different plane will be selected so you, you can click x which will go to yz plane and then use plane view now we can draw the cross section so we'll use circle start from center use four centimeter diameter one more center here 4.2 escape escape okay so now we have this cross section where we pull up to a pipe so now we have two surfaces the middle surface is not what we want so we want to use an annular surface so I will zoom zoom in to select this so select the annular surface you have to zoom in to select it all right and then we zoom out and and roll around in the middle roller okay so now the annular surface have been selected will pull out along the center line we have generated to do that we'll use this function it's called sweep so control select control select control select so we'll sweep through the line we selected all the way up so select up to up to click on it up to the other end now we have this solid part okay okay this is the solid part 
but for the fluid, fluid is inside the pipe. To generate the fluid volume, what we need is, well, switch back to select. What we need is prepare, prepare tap, volume extraction. So volume extraction, first we choose the faces that seal the enclosed region. Okay, roll over what the surface is in. The seal that is one surface here and the other surface here on the, the other end. So control click this part two. So now with this two end surface, and then we move to this way, select a seed face. So select seed face will allow us to determine the in, inside of the enclosed volume. We'll choose the inside of the pipe, not outside the pipe. Again, it's the inside of the pipe. So we want to put the fluid inside the pipe. So control click one pipe inside part, inside part, roll all around, click inside part. So here I, I I'm not I'm not using outside, I'm using inside. Make sure that is inside. Okay, control click. Now I finished selecting selection and then complete. Click on complete. Now a new volume has been generated, which is inside the pipe. Okay, now uh before moving to next step, we want I want to suppress the pipe, the solid part, because for this problem we only care about the fluid inside. Okay, this is not a couple problem. If this is a couple problem, we need to study how the deformation of the solid because of the fluid solid interaction, we definitely need the solid part. But for this problem, we only care about fluid. So unsuppress this solid. Okay, we're only left with volume. Let me check this and only show the volume. Okay, for this volume, well, we can do one more thing to help us for next step. So we will name the boundary condition. So we'll name the boundary. I will name this as, I will name this as inlet. So I click on it and create inlet. Okay, and then unselect it and then select the second end, create outlet. Okay, unselect it and we'll use the main door part one. You don't need control because this is believe that we are grouping something. So we click the part and this will be selected and create wall. So that's the wall part. Okay, and for this step, we, we name the boundary condition uh, is to help the next step to define boundary condition. Okay, so if you don't if you don't name it in this uh, here, it's okay. It's still durable. It's manageable in next step too. But it's convenient to name them here. All right, and then we close exit the geometry creator, and we go to mesh. So double double click. Now we are in the mesh, uh, so let's wait for them to load the geometry. First step in here is click on geometry and choose a volume. This is a fluid, so we need assign material to it. Assign material, go to fluid solid, and tell software this is fluid. Okay, this is a fluid part, and then we go to mesh. For the mesh part, well, you can use default value to mesh it or you can make some control of the mesh like here you can choose linear or you can choose quadratic and you can change the mesh size like here i can change it to 0 0.005 which is 5 centimeter or 0.5 uh, 5 millimeter or 0.5 centimeter okay so 
Now with that information, I can generate a mesh. Okay, that's the mesh we have. Looks good too. Looks good. So we'll use that. Exit. Can make an update. So on the mesh update, so we'll change the status to check status. Take some time to let the system know that mesh has been completed. And then we go to the next step, set up, to set up boundary condition. So the boundary condition we have is we, so we have a pipe, we have an inlet, we have an outlet, and in between we have the pipe, the pipe is a wall, it's a non-slip boundary condition. Okay, the first step is go to analysis type. So for the the analysis we can choose as a steady status, we can also choose as a transient. So for the problem we will deal with the steady status problem. So we choose steady status and click OK. And default domain and double click on default do domain and we assign material to it. By default is air at 25 uh, Celsius. This problem is water. Okay and reference pressure, atmospheric pressure, that's good. Then click OK. All right, and then we move to boundary condition. So right click and insert boundary condition. Recall we have three boundary conditions. We'll assign inlet, OK. See, the boundary type is has inlet, outlet, opening wall symmetry. So we need inlet. And the location here is See, we have named inlet outlet as well, so we can apply our inlet. If we didn't, if see if we didn't name them in the geometry creator, we can still do it by choosing the surfaces here. Okay, that's another option we can do it. But here I will use I will use inlet. Okay, and then okay. Okay, inlet. We need some boundary details. We need tell the speed of the inlet, which is 5 millimeter or 0.005 meter per second. And apply, OK. Insert another boundary condition, which is outlet. OK, we can do the same thing, boundary type outlet, that's good. And then the region we choose is outlet, good. Okay, and then boundary details, outlet. Let's say go in here and get out from the other end with zero pressure. Relative pressure means gauge pressure. So the gauge pressure for atmosphere is zero. So it's come out to atmosphere. That's good. Let's apply. Okay, so one more boundary condition because we have the pipe wall. We'll insert boundary condition. We name it as wall. At this time, well, button type is wall, that's good. The location is wall, is also good. That's what we want. And the boundary details is a no slip, no slip wall. So there's the speed and the boundary is zero. Okay. Okay. All right. And then you can click the default domain again. You will see that all the boundaries has been assigned. Okay, we have inflow, non slip boundary condition, and come out. Okay, with that finished, we'll close this, exit, set up. Set up, we recall that we signed the material and the boundary condition. And go to next step, solution. Double click on solution. Okay, and then st start a run.
okay, you can see that the, with time changing and it starts to converging and at when it converges to a very small value, the error converges to a very small value is 10 uh, to minus four and simulation completed. So the fluid flow has been completed and you see that all the details of the calculation. Well, with this completed, we will exit from the server and the last step is check the result. Okay, so we go to the result, double click, where we can look at the velocity, pressure, okay, and all the other information you want to show. Okay, so where to check the result is go to the user location. Again, user locations and plot and right click on it. And then you can insert, like you, use, you want to use vector, contour, streamline, streamlines for velocity, of course. So let's look at the streamlines. Look at the velocity. Either use a streamline or vector, both works. So you can name it, okay, I'll keep it in that way. Mm. Now where is the 3D streamer type? Yes, good. Domain, well, all domain is, yeah, I want to show it in all domain. I start from the inlet, okay, and then point, uh, number of points, you can change the number, you can apply, see whether it works good or not. Okay, looks good, not bad. So we have inflow here and come out from the other end. Inflow will come out from the other end. Oh, okay, looks looks good. Right, so you can insert more, uh, like I can, if you want to use vector information, that's also okay. Okay, I'll check out the stream. I will use this vector to show its velocity again. Domain is all domain. Location is default domain. Uh, velocity, yeah, apply. Right, this is a vector again. So if you can zoom in, you can see that the direction is the flow. The color represents magnitude of the flow, or the speed. Okay. Well, one more thing I checked out this. I want to show you one more thing, because this is 3D. What What if I want to show it on a surface? So what you can do is insert location plane. I name it as plane one. You can apply, and you will see that a plane has been generated. So I want to show the velocity, the pressure on this plane because this is a better way to look at the result all right so you can also change the z location at different locations and uh, because i want to show the middle the center part so this is, looks good so if you change this value it will change, change the z uh coordinate okay and then we have it right so we have the plane now we have a plane and then we'll, again i will look at the pressure and velocity on this plane. So I look at the pressure first. Pressure, I want to use contour, contour one, and domain is all domain, location, I'll put on plane, plane one, which is the plane we generate. And variable, we, I want to look at the pressure. You can, there are other options, okay? I'll use pressure and I apply. Oh, that's the pressure. You can see that if you want to make it, uh, more point on it, you can input another number, 40, larger number, and it'll show you the pressure. Okay, and it make a lot of sense because the pressure, this part is relatively to smaller than the pressure on this part, because and th this part will exert force to change the direction of the flow. Okay, there's a pressure, and we can put velocity on this plane too, so in third, this time I also want to use a contour to show the speed. Okay, so let me check out this contour one. This time I will generate a contour two, which location on plane, and the variable is velocity, and number of contour, again, I'll put a relatively larger number than that, and then apply, see, that's a velocity on this surface plane. So you can tell that, so when the fluid go into it, and the will at the beginning 
well, as a beginning, it's a uniform flow. And if you look at the boundary, there's a boundary layer. That's the velocity on the boundary is zero and gradually increase and then become uniform again. But when it comes to the elbow part and the velocity change again. So at this part have a larger velocity, outside has lower velocity and then come up. All right, so that's where nice result. Uh, that's all we have for today. And we'll see you next time.